Well, concerned citizens protested in front of Yakima City Hall Tuesday night over City Council members rejecting a proposal by the group Yakima Pride to proclaim June as Pride Month. Some of the protesters then attended the council meeting where they spoke out to the council members themselves. Reporter Austin Peppers reports on both sides of the issue. Those in favour, please say aye. Raise your hand. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. 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 All right, the motion fails five to two. That was last week's vote by the Yakima City Council regarding the draft Pride Month proclamation sent in by Yakima Pride. Just before Yakima City Council's study session meeting Tuesday evening, several concerned community members protested the decision outside Yakima City Hall. I think that the, uh, the move that the City Council has made uh, is an effort to kind of deny that uh, this community exists, and it's unfortunate. I spoke with Councilman Reedy Berg and Mayor Patricia Byers regarding the vote, and Berg told me this was his thought process when voting. My vote was strictly based on the conversations and kind of the back and forth with the constituents of District 7. Mm -hmm. Pride Month just wasn't a main concern for most of the, the residents of District 7, so I represent them and I'm their voice and mm -hmm. I went with the majority. After the protest, Yakima City Council held its meeting with several public comments. And while some disagreed with the decision, The Pride Proclamation met all your policy criteria. Please put it back on the agenda and vote with impartiality. Most supported and agreed with City Council. I'm very grateful to you for not accepting the proclamation. I support the City Council's decision to vote against the proclamation for Pride Month. I am in agreement and support the City Council's decision against the proposed City of Yakima Pride proclamation. We asked both Byers and Berg if this would have an impact on Pride parades or Pride-related events and they both said it would not. The only thing that the council has any jurisdiction over authority over is whether or not we make a proclamation. Reporting from Yakima, Austin Peppers, Action News. Thanks so much, Austin. Well, City Councilman Leo Roy was absent from the meeting, and while we reached out to Yakima Pride for comment, we've received only one reply to try and schedule an interview, but haven't heard back since. And Action News viewers have reached out to us today reporting that Sunnyside City Council took a similar decision at their council meeting Tuesday night and voted not to endorse a similar declaration. We hope to have more details in later newscasts tonight.